Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Nightmare. It is the morning of day four. Last night I had a couple of skill points so I went ahead and unlocked the mini bike. I figured we have everything we need to craft it. We might as well instead of crafting the bicycle and I also put a point into Skull Crusher. The next time we level up I'm gonna go into Sexual Tyrannosaurus again. Now, I did use our wrench last night to craft this workbench here, and inside the workbench we got the mini bike working, the chassis is already done, the front end is crafting now, and then the mixer is gonna start crafting. So we're gonna wait here until the front end is done so we can get the uh, entire mini bike crafting here in the workbench. Uh, the helmet light mod, I wanted to craft that last night as well, but we don't have a flashlight. Here are all the other parts we need. We just need a flashlight, so hopefully we can find one of those today, or maybe even buy one from the trader. There we go, front end is done, let's bring that down and get the mini bike crafting. And I'm going to cancel the cement mixer and put that behind the mini bike, because I want the bike to be done first. And while we wait for that to finish, let's go chop down some trees, because we don't have any wood this morning. Which is not like me, I usually always have wood in the morning. There she is, mini bike day four in a nightmare series. That's pretty damn good, and this thing is gonna help us out a whole lot. Let's get the gasoline in there along with all this other shit that we're gonna sell to Trader Jen. But first, we're gonna go do this uh, clear zombies quest for Jen. And then of course I wanna do more work on the base today. And we need to mine some iron at some point too, so we can get that into the forge and craft more forged iron. One thing I wanted to do last night that I wasn't able to, was craft an iron fire axe and an iron pickaxe. I didn't have enough forged iron to do that. So that's another thing I want to try and get accomplished today. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and turn the mini bike around so it's facing outward, just in case we got to hop on this thing and bail real quick. Okay, got a little bird nest right here. Some feathers, and speaking of feathers, I actually tried to craft the steel arrowheads last night. If you remember in the last episode, I found a book that unlocks the recipe for steel arrows and steel bolts. We cannot craft steel arrowheads until we have a crucible. So, we got to get our hands on one of those. Ah, garage door is open. I did this same shit in the same POI the last time I was here. I think in the Maxed Out series. Grab this cobblestone here, and uh, see what else we got. Not much, and I guess we're just gonna break in. All right, that was not so bad. Let's get in here now. We should probably clear this first floor before we start looting. Hiding in the corner. Boom, good night. Yeah, my reflexes are on point today. The torch on the walls, it's kind of dark in here. Looking forward to when we can craft that helmet light mod. I thought about starting with one, usually I do, just for the sake of the viewer. But since this is supposed to be like the hardest challenge series I've done, I didn't want to do that. Ooh, level one wrench. Man, we are fucking even Steven, huh? Just used our wrench last night to craft a workbench, and we find another one today. That's brilliant. Because I really didn't feel like putting a skill point into salvage operations to have to craft one, so... Beautiful. I mean, I'd put a skill point into salvage operations in the future, because it is good. You get more resources from taking things apart, and I don't know what else you get from that perk, to be honest. But right now, there's too many other more important perks we need to be focusing on. Where is that zombie? It's gotta be outside. Got another zombie that sounds like it's coming from outside. Hey, lady! Don't beat on the car, you're trying to kill us both? Damn it, missed. Of course the blunderbuss isn't loaded. 
Oh, back up. Hey, asshole, can you not beat on the car? Oh, shit. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. All right, he's dead. This is going to be a rude awakening. Didn't kill him, though. And I think we woke someone else up. Oh, yeah, right here. Shit. Damn it. No, not good. Out of stamina. Shit. All right. She dead. Give me that spear back. Fuck, we really need to put a point into sexual Tyrannosaurus. I probably should have went into sexual Tyrannosaurus a second time before I went into Skull Crusher a second time, but too late. You live and you learn. At least that's what they say, you live and you learn. I think it's also quite possible to live and become utterly more confused. And since we fell through the floor there, I'm going to go ahead and unload into the mini bike before we proceed any further. Sawed off mod schematic and automatic weapons do 10% more damage. That's nice. Now we just need to find one. Looks like we're going up. And it also looks like there's a zombie up here. According to the compass. Probably the last one. Because the main stash is up here as well. Wake up. Asshole. Come on. Here we go. Back down the hatch. Hey, you stay right there. Yeah, this is perfect. Come on. Let me get a few more of these nut shots in. Oh, this is hurting you more than it's hurting me, buddy. There we go. That worked out. Nice, look at all this loot here. Some food, great, we needed that. Some more stuff. I'd like a gun. We're gonna end up having to use the bow on Horde Knight. Actually, what I have planned for the base, we should be able to get away with melee only for the first Horde. And then by day 14, if we make it that far, the base should be uh, built up plenty and we should definitely have a gun by then. All right, we're thirsty, so let's have a drink. And also scrap these clubs. And let's get the hell out of here. Oh, why do I even care about this rabbit? Son of a bitch. Fuck you, rabbit. What's up, Jen? Good job. 209 millimeter rounds, definitely going for that. I got some things to sell you here. And then we'll see if she has anything worth buying. We're looking for a flashlight specifically. I guess I'll take all this cobblestone. 900 pieces for 180 coin. That's worth it. We need the cobblestone to go work on the base. Not seeing a flashlight, unfortunately. Antibiotics would be good, but we have some honey. We should be fine. Um, yeah. I'm gonna hold Thank on to my so coin much. for now. Hey, let's look at her down. jobs. Close by buried supplies. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I can actually do that now real fast. Let's check her vending machine first. Skull crushers? Yeah, why not? Sugar butts? I'll take that for the next time. We're gonna sell her some stuff, and I'll take a smoothie. All right, let's go dig up some supplies, and then we'll go work on the base, and uh, that'll probably be it for today. Let's stop off here real quick and mine a little bit of stone. We need it not only to craft more cobblestone, but I want to craft a second forge tonight. Start smelting some stone down in that one for cement, plus we're putting a mixer down so we can use stone to craft crushed sand and eventually some concrete. And I know it sucks mining stone with a pickaxe, but we got to do what we got to do for now. We can't forget to mine some iron as well, though, so we can get that in the forge tonight, the first forge. 
craft some forged iron and get ourselves a pickaxe and throw these fucking stone tools out the window. Here we are. And this is actually right by the other buried supplies quest we did, because I just spotted the column we made to fight the zombies, so I'm not gonna bother making another one. We'll grab these supplies, we'll hop on the mini bike, and we'll lead these zombies over to the first column we built. I mean, we could just escape and uh, not bother with the zombies, but we wanna kill them. We need the XP. There we go. Uh, we better bring the mini bike over a little closer before we grab that. There we go, because you never know where these zombies are going to spawn in at. Let's grab this shit. Oh, fucking cornmeal. Get back in the ditch. Fuck off out of here. Oh, it was worth it. Where the hell are they at? Oh, whatever then. Backpack. Let's check it out. Flashlight. Fuck yeah, and there's that goddamn rabbit again. Let's go deal with that asshole. Will you slow down? You little squirmy son of a bitch. Oh, now I'm pissed off. Oh, watch out for that stone right there. Yeah, you little fucker. That's for all the Elmer Fuds in the world. Man, look how far away I ran from the mini bike. I wasn't even looking at my surroundings to see if there were zombies around. I could have totally just got us killed right there just to get revenge on a rascally fucking rabbit. What do you got for me now, Jen? You are quite Antibiotics or 20 pipe bombs? Of course I'm taking the pipe bombs. Are you kidding me? All right, now, hour 14. Let's go get some work done to the base. We can use up all this cobblestone we bought. We can definitely get the wall up this way if we want to come back later tonight and continue working on it. We don't have to worry about getting attacked by zombies. But we definitely have to stop home tonight. I did start digging a mine there, which I forgot to show you this morning. You can check it out when we stop back home, because we do have to stop there and unload. We're encumbered. We don't got to do that now. We can do that after we get some work done here. We also need to get this helmet light mod crafted. And we still need to mine some iron. Uh, that's it for the wood. Still got plenty of cobblestone, but you know what? Let's get home, unload all of this loot we picked up today, get the helmet light mod crafting, put down the cement mixer, then we'll go cut down some trees, mine some iron, and then we can get back to the base. I wanna cut down these maple trees, but we're gonna have to deal with this guy first. Come on, buddy. Let's play a game called Fuck You Up From On Top Of The Wall. Uh, looks like this guy wants to play the wall game too. That's fine. I can go for another round. Chicken, let's get some more meat and feathers. Oh yeah, hey, what the fuck? What is going on here? Just sliding across the bench. First we had ninja chicken, now we got ghost chicken. You're just gonna, what? where the fuck are you going? Man, strange things are afoot. I'm telling you, if that wasn't some kind of weird omen, I don't know what is. At least we got some more meat though. I think we're gonna have to bite the bullet and put a point into Master Chef tonight. Uh oh. Oh, we're not loaded. Let's create some distance here so we can at least get the blunderbuss loaded up. 
I should be good. Oh, he doesn't even give a shit anymore. Let's circle back around to the iron. Once we start mining it again, though, he'll probably pick up our scent. Yeah, here we go. Well, come on then, buddy. I got something for you. What? That's such bullshit. All right, here we go then. Oh, fuck. Yeah, lay down. No stamina. And I can't get on the mini bike. Oh, this is such bullshit. Oh, spear in the face didn't stop him. This is like the last scene in Jaws. Yeah, gotcha that time. Give me that spear back. All right, let's continue our work here. I want to at least get this wall up two blocks high, upgrade it to cobblestone, and then we need to install the entrance to this place. Now, this is where the entrance is going to be. Okay, so we can upgrade these two blocks. And then uh, we need to build like a hallway. So just like this here. And build this out, I don't know, about six blocks or so. Uh, out of wood again. All right, well, I'm done working on this thing for the day anyway. But this is going to be the entrance into the base. It's going to be lined with hatches, and we're going to just beat the shit out of the zombies in this hallway until they break through all the hatches. We need to uh, finish laying the foundation on the inside here. And then once they break through the hatches, we'll deal with them inside the base. I've got some other ideas and plans. But I think we can deal with the Night 7 Horde just in the hallway alone. It's not going to be a big horde. And with like six or seven hatches lying down in the hallway, as long as they're all upgraded, I think we'll be fine. We need to have a backup plan, though, just in case we're not. This forge has been smelting down iron. Let's go ahead and get some forged iron crafting in here. Oh, yeah, shit. No wood. With these two skill points, I'm going to put one into Miner 69er again. This way we can craft level three tools. And with the other one, we're going to go into Master Chef so we can start cooking all this meat we have. Um, we need more forged iron, which we have in the uh, forge. We can grab that now. Should be done crafting. Bam. Let's get this pickaxe moving. Or not. Oh, duct tape. Shit, I don't think we have any duct tape. I've got one thing of glue. That's all right, we'll make more glue tonight, get more duct tape crafted, and we'll get this pickaxe crafted tonight as well. And uh, we'll be looking good. Here's the mine I started digging. I know it looks like stone, but it's still soil. So we got to go down a bit further. But that's all right, we'll get some more work done to it tonight. Let's go ahead and spend this last skill point. We have to go into Master Chef. We're friggin' starving, and we got all this meat. We got to be able to cook it, so... There it is. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.